Well, today I'm going to share with you why trigger point pain keeps coming back and what you can do about it. Now the reason trigger point pain keeps coming back is simple. The trigger points never go away. And probably the best way to explain this is to show you this diagram. And trigger points start small and gradually develop over time. Now if a therapist presses on them they hurt like hell and shoot pain, but otherwise you don't know they're there. Eventually though they can get worse, then something aggravates them and they start shooting pain without being pressed upon. Now too often treatments are designed to do just like this blue arrow. Let's take the trigger points back to where they only hurt when you're pressing them. Now you don't know they're there and of course you feel okay. But next time you do something to aggravate them, the trigger points flare up again. Now this is what happens whether it's some guru on YouTube showing you their super trigger point release technique or a proper professional giving you a course of treatments. Now the difference is the proper professional will probably push them a little bit further in the direction of the big blue arrow and their relief will probably last a bit longer but neither actually gets rid of the trigger points. So why do professionals give you treatment that makes you feel okay but leaves the problem? Well, I've got a separate video and article on this uh, linked in the description, but a big problem is the scientists who do clinical trials. Now, when they test their courses of needles, lasers, or whatever, they just measure things like pain, not whether they eliminate the trigger points. That way, even if the problem is still there, as long as the patients feel better, they can write it up as a success. Now, of course, treating professionals are guided by these clinical trials, so what happens is for either the patient gets a course of needles, lasers, or whatever and feels okay, but a month later the pain comes back, so he's either got to fork out for another course of treatments or go look for some other cure. Now, I think that's a very bad thing, so what I did was look through the scientific evidence that was available and come up with something that did get rid of the trigger points. Now, there's three key pieces of information that show us how to do this. The first is the results of one of the very rare trials that did check where the trigger points did actually go. Now, the trigger point therapy they used was probably as good as it gets. The researchers are top PhD scientists on trigger points, and they use 45-minute sessions every week just on the shoulders, which is much more than you get from a typical professional consultation. So let's look at how they did. Now on this chart you see the number of trigger points at the start, after 6 weeks and after 12 weeks. The blue is the trigger points that cause pain, purple is the trigger points that only shoot pain when you're pressing them, and the yellow is the total. You can see that after 12 weeks of therapy the total number of trigger points has gone down a bit, but there are actually more of the trigger points that only shoot pain when you're pressing them. Now what's happened is that some of the blue ones have converted to purple, and some of the purples have gone but there's still a lot of trigger points left. Now that confirms that guru releases and typical courses of professional treatment are hardly going to make a dent in the number of your trigger points. However, it does show that if you persist, they'll gradually go. The big issue is that you'll need a huge number of treatments, so you'll need to be able to self-apply a lot of them, otherwise it'll be horrendously expensive. Now armed with that knowledge, Let's look at the treatment options. Now those same PhD scientists and their colleagues have done a lot of work on what trigger points are, what makes them tick, and why they're so tough to get rid of. Now simply what they've found is that trigger points are part of the muscle that have gone to spasm, and this is locked on by a feedback loop. Now if you look at this diagram, you'll see that the spasm tightens the muscle, which puts pressure on the blood vessels, restricting blood flow, which causes a buildup of toxic waste, which causes more spasm, and the whole thing just keeps going around and round and round. Now, that's why you can give them some treatment and quiet them down a bit, but they'll gradually build up steam again. Now, that's very useful knowledge though, because we know we need a therapy that can disrupt spasm, relax muscles, and stimulate blood flow, flushing out the toxic waste. Now luckily we've got one that does exactly that, and that's vibration massage. And the best part is, with proper advice, you can easily do it on yourself. Now, if you're not familiar with that, all you need to do is sit the vibration massage on the trigger point and let the vibrations penetrate and have their effect. 
Now the last piece of the puzzle is that trigger points are usually part of a more complex musculoskeletal problem and there's quite often things causing them that needs to be sorted out. Because of that you need to consult a professional who deals with trigger points. You'll be able to do a lot of the therapy yourself but you'll still need his or her management skills and even help to show you where to apply the therapy. So that's our simple strategy to actually get rid of trigger points and find a professional who deals with trigger points to help you manage the problem and you can do a lot of the therapy at home. Now you'll probably end up with something like this. Now just say I've got a trigger point in my forearm muscles. Now each day I could put the massager on for about 30 seconds and let the vibration soak in. Now hopefully I'll be very quickly out of pain then each application would diminish the trigger point that bit more, not letting it build up steam again and hopefully getting rid of it completely. Now because you use your forearm muscles so much, trigger points tend to redevelop, but you can check your forearms each month and once starting again you can knock it on the head. Now to find a professional you can go to our website, follow the Get a Massager link and you'll find lists of clinics that use and recommend our massages. Now that's a good place to start. Or you can get your own chiropractor, osteopath or therapist and have a chat to them. Now they might be guided by those clinical trials I mentioned before, so maybe print out some of the info in the description and take that with you. And if they want to email us, uh, we'll help them out with practitioner advice and special practitioner prices on our machines to try. Now of course you'll need to get a decent massager. i put links about that stuff in the description, but whatever you do, Get a proper vibration massager rather than a percussion massager and don't buy a massage gun because they don't even have a proper handle so you can't reach all your muscles properly. Now, if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments or send me an email and I'll do my best to reply. Hey, thank you very very much for watching, it's been most appreciated.